living in Cochrane, Alberta. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of living in the community of Cochrane and whether or not it is a good decision for you to live there. Stay tuned. My name is Ryan Hawkins and I'm a local real estate agent here in Calgary and today's video comes from a comment from one of our viewers, The Honest Guy, and he asks, Hello Ryan, can you do a video on the pros and cons of living in Cochrane, Alberta? I really appreciate you, the viewers, commenting on my videos and giving me ideas on what videos to make. So today's question is, what videos do you want to see me do? Comment down below and I will make those videos for you. Moving on to the video, we are talking about living in Cochrane and the pros and cons of it. To give you some quick facts on Cochrane, it is a small community about 30 minutes northwest of Calgary. It's a stunning community that runs along the Bow River, significantly closer to the mountains with a population of about 35,000 people. The benchmark price for a single detached home in Cochrane is about 463 $3,000. This is significantly cheaper than the benchmark price here in Calgary, which is about $516,000. Now I'm going to break this video up into two parts, the pros and the cons, and then at the end I'm going to give you my thoughts on whether or not you should live there. Starting with the pros, you are going to get more space. Living in a smaller community means you aren't jammed packed in tightly as you would see in a major city. Also with that, you are significantly closer to the outdoors being nature, of course, where if you are an outdoor enthusiast like you like snowmobile or you like going on quad or if you have a motorcycle this would be a huge benefit for you to really enjoy the outdoors. The second pro is you're just closer to the mountain. One of the reasons why I moved to Calgary was to be closer to the mountains and here you are now only 30 minutes away from enjoying the beautiful mountain. The third pro is Cochrane has all the amenities of a big city. This isn't a really small community of one to two thousand people. In fact Cochrane is being considered one of the fastest growing communities in Western Canada. You're going to have big shops, you're going to have movie theaters, you're going to have large grocery stores, anything that you can really find in a big city, you're going to find in Cochrane. Now with living in a smaller community, you're going to have a tighter community. Now, as I said, it is about 35,000 people, but that does not mean that the community isn't tight. You're only going to see a couple of schools here in the community, which means a lot of the, your kids are going to go to school, which means you're going to meet a lot of the parents. They're going to participate in the same sports teams as one another. And eventually you're just going to be one big tight knit community. And the fifth pro for living in Cochrane is that it's simply going to be quieter. Calgary is just over a million people and you get that hustle and bustle. There's traffic, there's lots of people, and there's a lot of stuff going on. Whereas in Cochrane, you're going to have a bit of a slower pace to it, which means a significantly quieter lifestyle. Just like most things, there are some cons to it. So today I've come up with four cons with living in Cochrane. Number one, and I think it's the biggest one, is the commute. If you're someone that works in Calgary, the commute can be long. From Cochrane to downtown Calgary is about 30 minutes and that's without traffic. I can imagine that during peak hours that this can be anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. This means now your commute is now one to two hours both ways. And I can imagine that after a while that this could be a bit of an issue. And to be honest, you really have two options. You can either drive, then you need to find parking, which can take some time, or you can drive to the community of Tuscany, which is in the northwest corner and is the closest to Cochrane. Once there, you can get on the C train and commute into the downtown. However, this trip is about an hour and 15 minutes. So again, you're just adding more time to commute than you really want. Number two is you don't get a lot of big city attractions. What I mean by this is in Calgary, we have the Calgary Flames, the Calgary Stampede, a lot of festivals are here and a lot of concerts are going on. And if this is something that is important to you, then maybe living in Cochrane isn't the best idea simply because you're going to have to make that long commute in and that could be an issue. Plus, if you're someone that likes to have a drink or two while enjoying these attractions, you now then need to get a cab or an Uber ride home, which would cost a lot of money. The third con is privacy. Now, as I said in the pros is that you do get a tighter community, but with this might come with a lack of privacy simply because people will end up getting to know you or somebody who knows somebody knows you, which means a lot of time your business no longer becomes private and a lot of people end up knowing it. And if this is a big issue for you, then I don't recommend maybe living in a small community. And finally, the fourth con for living in Cochrane is jobs are just less. And it's not because Cochrane is a hot job market, it's just a smaller community. 
there's going to be significantly more jobs in Calgary because it feeds a lot more people. So this might result as to my first point is you having to commute in Calgary just for your job. With this all being said, should you live in Cochrane? Simply my answer is, depends on your lifestyle. If you like the outdoors and having that wide open space and you don't mind living in a tighter community, then yeah, absolutely, I recommend it. But if you don't like having to travel to work all the time for one to maybe three hours, and you like having massive big city attractions, then no, I don't recommend living in Cochrane. With that all being said, I hope that gave you a lot of information on the pros and cons of living in Cochrane. And as always, I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Take care.